What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Um, today, doing a little upgrade on this stock blocky grill. So over here we have the, I guess you want to call it the high flow aftermarket grill, whatever you want to call it. It's called a honeycomb grill. It's called a honeycomb, honeycomb oh. grill. Honeycomb. I like honeycomb. Oh. Honeycomb is better though. Anyways, we're going to put this grill on this car. So we're gonna get into it. Okay, so the bumper is off. So super easy one. It's just the front piece of the bumper. Just a few clips. The two corner bolts, which are these 10 mils. And that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the grill. Let me show it back here. So it's gonna be a bunch of Phillips down here and around. A few tabs that we probably have to push out. Doesn't look too bad. We'll be reason to get into it and we'll show you the after. All right, stock one's out. Leave that there. Make so it's about, a there's about six Phillips screws along the bottom and then just clips on the top there. And now we shall see if this fits. Let's get to it. Let's get to her. She's in there. She is in there. So, as expected, uh, there was a tiny bit. It actually doesn't even look that bad on camera here. Just a tiny bit of a gap with the aftermarket grill, which we knew. Um, I did make the holes on the side a bit bigger, and it helped it come in a lot more. So, that helped out. But uh, at the end of the day, it's what you expect with aftermarket pieces. So, it's not like it's crazy. Um, everything else fits well. I'm just going to put in the screws. And then we'll put the bumper back on and get an after shot. All right, finished product, and it fit good. Fitment's actually pretty okay. solid. So yeah, like I said, I opened up the, the holes a bit, so gap's not bad. Hopefully we get some more airflow in there. And that is about it. Pretty simple, it's all good. And hopefully effective. Well, yeah, guys, that's the install of the Honeycomb grill on the 10th Gen SI. So uh, yeah, if you like it, Please hit the like button down below and if you want to see more mods or any content really just hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already um, that's about it it was a pretty easy install the back of the grill is just a bunch of like tab like clips yeah you just uh, pry it out with a little flathead and then you're good to go and um, other than that it's pretty simple you just gotta put the bumper back on that's it sorry don't mount it mind my mounts over here let me get through my gears so super easy to install. I'm really hoping that it's gonna help keep the temps down on the tent gen on the note on the track. Uh, I've spoken to a few of you guys now and you've all had the same thoughts about it. So quite excited and hopefully it makes a difference. But all right guys, thank you for coming back to watch another video. I hope that you will come back to watch another one. Uh, like I said before, please subscribe if you haven't and hit that like button. I'll catch you in the next one guys, peace.